Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. You can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. The DCEU is ending one way or the, the other, whether it's a total ending and moving on to a new universe or whether it's just a case of new movies and a new direction. One way or the other, the current DC Extended Universe as you know it is done. That's what that's the most common question I get every day on my life. What's going on? How do they move forward? Do they continue these movies? Do they use the same actors? Now, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, it's looking like they want to keep these actors. Now, according to Henry Cavill, he's back as Superman and he's hinting towards a Superman movie. He's talking about what kind of Superman he wants. It looks like it's a done deal. And I mentioned on today's DC Universe Daily Live that kind of James Gunn and Peter Safran are having these actors foisted on them because normally in these situations when you're coming in and developing your own universe, your own DC universe, you get to decide who plays these characters. So it's a very unconventional situation there's a lot of cleaning up to be done from James Gunn and Peter Safran. It's a very challenging um, job in front of them. The challenge is huge because there's an existing universe. Now, I keep on saying the phrase that the Hamada movies don't matter to me and they just need to be released and we need to move away from them. And I genuinely believe that because, as I said on today's live as well, that if they were so, if they loved the Hamada verse so much, why did they fire him? Why did they move away from him? Because I don't think it was because he simply quit. It's clear that he and Zaslav didn't agree on the direction to go with DC. And clearly, if you're DC film president, you think you're doing an A-OK -okay job and you don't see the problem. Of course, the problem is, Walter, that this was not a franchise ever, even since Man of Steel, that the consumer had some kind of loyalty and confidence to. And I, you know, I always use the kind of, you know, analogy of Pepsi and Coca-Cola, where people will buy them instead of the own brands, even though they have to pay a little bit extra for them, because they have this confidence that they're the superior flavour. Same with the MCU. It's the superior flavour. The DCEU doesn't have that consumer confidence, and this is why James Gunn, and Peter Saffron are here to create a brand that people have confidence in. And right now the DCEU doesn't have that. And this is why it's changed immediately to DC. DCU, get, get, get that right. I'll get used to it eventually, DCU. Um, so DC Universe now, so everything is part of a universe and is connected. You get it right? I think the intention is there and it's undeniable. You go outside of that universe, you get the Batman, uh, you get the Joker movies, and that's different and that's fine. It's not confusing at all. It works. The idea works. But the DCEU is over for sure. Once these movies go, they're either going to say, we're done with that and we start from scratch, which I think is unlikely. And I think there's more of a reality of them doing something with the Flash movie because Walter Hamada was always going to start a new timeline you know at the end of the movie when Barry comes back and fixes Flashpoint but Earth One was going to be changed forever as we know we were going to have Supergirl aging back Keaton you know and people weren't going to remember Superman anymore a totally brand new timeline so I believe they're still going to do that but it's going to be different. Clearly, Superman is going to be involved in, the, in this new timeline. So I believe this is what they're going to do. Of course, I could be absolutely wrong that they cancel the whole thing, they cast new people, um, but one way or the other, the DC Extended Universe is a thing of the past. Whatever they do, this setup you see today is a combination of Warner Brothers' leaderships gone by past tense. It's a combination of DCEU leaderships, you know, past tense, gone by. Snyder, Johns, you know, and Walter Hamada. So 
all these people have gone and those visions have kind of died out with them. Now, the consistent connective thing all along with all these different past tense leaderships at the studio and in the franchise is that they've still got these actors. Um, will they keep these actors? It, as I said earlier, it looks like they will keep these actors. These are the questions that you keep on asking me. I wish I had definitive answers for you, but I keep on saying this and I'll say this again. Um, I am not Nostradamus. You're not Nostradamus. And Hollywood is a very predictable thing. You know, did I say predictable? No, Hollywood is a very unpredictable thing. So, and with, with what's going on now with James Gunn, Peter Saffron, David Zaslav, Abby DeLuca, the leadership has changed dramatically and the mentality has changed dramatically. And so what I'm going to say to you, things could dramatically change in ways that you never fall they were dramatically changed. You know, one of the things we're not talking about is maybe they'll just stick with this universe. Now, I think that's unlikely, but what they could do is, is just fix this universe. But what's difficult about it is the canonical situation. Snyderverse, um, Johnsonbergverse, Hamadaverse, you know, and now we've got the Gun and Saffronverse, right? Which hasn't even started yet. I'm sure that it's in the planning, it's in the discussions, but we haven't seen what they're planning. So that's a kind of intriguing situation as well. So there's options here for them to stick with what, um, like these actors in this universe, then I would be wrong that the Hamadaverse obviously does matter. But in a way, it still doesn't because these guys are here now and they could save the current franchise with doing more interesting things, but they've already attempted to do this via Suicide Squad, Peacemaker. And the truth is, it really hasn't brought the consumer confidence into the DCEU, which is now the DCU. Hasn't changed. James Gunn is extremely popular. He's, a, you know, he's about to show us his uh, Guardians 3, the end of his Guardians trilogy and his run with Marvel Studios. So his inclusion hasn't made the DCEU suddenly the most popular, bestest thing ever. It hasn't changed a thing. So people like him. They like his Suicide Squad movie. I think Peacemaker is the best DC piece of content we've had this year. The best thing James Gunn's ever, you know, accomplished in entertainment as far as I'm concerned. But still, him coming hasn't been the point where all of a sudden people are saying, yeah, man, the DCEU, that's where it's at. So they clearly have to make a decision. This brand clearly doesn't work and hasn't ever worked because it's always been divisive. And, you know, you can have a franchise that's got really good, neat, cool movies, which the DCEU has, but still the audience, this is the problem, the audience have no faith as a franchise. So it's not a good brand. The DCEU, like it or not, is a bad brand. Now the brand isn't the individual movies, the brand is the thing as a whole. And at the end of the day, there is no trust from the mainstream consumer on this brand. So this is why Gunn and Saffron are here, to create a successful brand. It's the branding of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Marvel Studios that makes them so popular. It's the way they can make a middling, not very good movie into a billion dollar, or in the, in, 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 in the case of For Love and Thunder, what, an $800 million movie. Now, if films made their money on deserving to make money or not, that film would have been a flop, but it wasn't, because it's part of a successful brand. And when you compare, Love and Thunder to Black Adam, which is probably slightly a superior movie. At least it has entertainment. It's exciting. It's action packed. It's slightly funny, but it's not going to make anywhere near for Love and Thunder because it's not part of a successful brand. So right now we're, we're in day two in the life of DC Studios and DC Universe. It's very early days. So what we're doing is we're going, we're ending one thing and beginning the other. How we do that, how they do that, is the big question that you lot are asking me. 
And sooner rather than later, very excitingly, we're going to find out. This has been Movies TV Mad. I'm Mick, your host with the most. Just ask your girlfriends and your wife. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss this beautiful perfection. And I'll see you in the next video. Until I see you again, goodbye, au revoir, auf Wiedersehen.